For Scrapbooking Personal Shopper of October of 2011, let's see what's in store. It's always like Christmas, isn't it? We'll open up the purple tissue and see what's inside our box. Well, we do have a card in an envelope, and so many members tell me they love being able to use their supplies in a faster way by doing a card. You know, we've turned many scrapbookers into card makers using that. We've got some So Sweet Dazzle stickers. Now, these are black, and because these are coming packaged, you get an extra idea included. And on the back, it will give you extra tips and so forth. And in this particular one, there are 62 pieces, not including the innies. So that's a nice beginning point. I bet there'll be more sewing things included. Our newsletter is in full color, and it's going to show us all eight of our scrapbook pages, our double page layouts, as well as our card and even more ideas. So that's great to have. Ooh, look, we get a template this month. Reusable templates are a prize, and layered labels is no exception. What our designers have told me is they love the various sizes, especially the smaller ones, so that's been a real treat. Now, I also see a heritage garden. Now, the rest of the world is not gonna even see this until January of 2012, and as you know, these are die cut, and they are beautiful. Now, we've got some embellishments. Let me open up the pack. This box just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? We've got some ribbons. Oh, some very fun eyelash fiber. We've got some wood buttons and some little tiny wooden spools. We've got a very sturdy gold key. That's quite beautiful. We've got some lace. We've got some mesh ribbon, some rickrack. My goodness, it goes on and on. Let me get these out of the way and let's get to the papers. That's really fun. Now, the first set is called Heritage. Heritage, and that's not going to be available until January of 2012 either. There are six designs, you get two sheets of each, and this is our first one, and I love the look of it. Heritage without being masculine or feminine, so it's going to have a lot of uses. Now, although we're calling it heritage, that doesn't limit its use, so just wanted you to know how pretty to have kind of this watermark look behind it. Very lovely. Now, to coordinate, we've got this uh, floral, and you can see that it's a very rich color. Lots of colors, and they're very subtle, but quite a few. We have it in this of uh, the uh, kind of deep, deep, deep red, but we also have it in this brown and black combination. Very striking. A stripe, and we know how useful that is. Now, the dot has a lot of texture, and I think you can see this. We also have some script over on the left-hand side that looks like handwriting. And then we also have a smaller floral that actually doesn't look terribly floral. It just kind of looks like an overall pattern to me. Now, that's the heritage set. Let's go into the So Cute, S-E-W Cute. You can see this is what our So Sweet Dazzles are going to coordinate with. I love the quilt look, and we've got some really fun techniques with that. Here's a micro uh, blue gingham that coordinates perfectly. And we've got a very sweet yellow, this time floral, that's just quite, quite charming. To go along with it, here's a tone on tone of the green. And let me get my other paper. Oh, look at the stripe with all of the stitching on it. How fun. Now, we've got also a sheet of uh, a pink floral. Very, very sweet. A nice size design, too. Now, to coordinate with our never-before-seen papers, we do include some papers from our classic collection. This time, we've got a pink gingham. You can see where that's going to go. Two of these two of this very lovely uh, flannel, and then also two of the burlap. So let's see what we're going to make with all this. What a beautiful heritage layout, and look what's going on here. That one sheet that we had that has the uh, lace all the way around becomes our basic, but we're also doing a great job of using that layered labels template, not only for a title, 
but also for some captions under our photos. Here's the paper toll, and isn't that quite striking? I love how it supports everything that's going on in these very pretty heritage layout. You can also, with the layered labels template, you can evacuate some of the treatments and then back them, just as been done there. A little bit of lace adds just a really nice touch. Now the coordinating page also has another one of the paper toll. Now this particular one has an open area where you could write on it, you could stamp. Instead, the designer decided to use one of the extra pieces just to add a little butterfly in there. You can see that lace trim. And then we've got grandma and grandpa right there. How fun to use the uh, eyelash fringe to be a border along this really lovely layout. Now let's go into our So Sweet and see what's going on. In this case, they've used um, the layered labels as a pattern to do this very fun border treatment, both at the top and the bottom. You know, I don't think I would have ever thought of doing that using the template for that purpose. There's also another treatment going on in the middle just to create this very fun, big kind of paper or flower in the center. Very easily done by just folding those triangles a certain way. The button makes a great center. And again, we're using the layered labels. How neat to turn them on their end and let them hang down onto the photo. What a sweet little girl. She's loving art even at that early age. Now the companion page has something else going on where we've got uh, more of the layered labels being used as a really nice uh, journaling area, but also then turning them into a little book. And you can see how this can get stacked to go inside your sheet protector, or it can be fanned out if you like. So we've got some rickrack going on and another one of the borders done on the side. So that's a great way to use it. Now, you might remember that when we saw the heritage photos to begin with, I said they're not just for heritage. Well, here this is proving it. We've got one about dad. So we're talking all about him. Evidently, he's an avid golfer and doing a great job of using those papers in the center, a little bit of chalking and inking to really tone down the cream so that we get more of the brown tones. We've got a journaling technique, which is to identify traits of the person and really talk about them. It's a great way to identify what's special and unique about someone. And then we've used the papers, as you can see, for matting, as well as the brown on brown pa uh, paper for the background. Now, the companion page has something really wonderful going on. We've used the plaid as a border, and that works really well. But look what's happening as we complete the words to uh, describe uh, Jackson Allen Montgomery. As we get in closer, you can see just how stunning they look. So they've been strung on some ribbons. So the five words define Jack. There's that uh, key, and isn't that just beautiful. Here are two more of the words that describe him. Now our last double page spread is really taking advantage of those so sweet papers. And look what Anne has done. She has slipped, uh, <laughs> cut into the uh, papers right along the design and then slipped her matted photo underneath. So we've got a really nice border going on. She did it right there and she did it along the top of this photograph. So you don't need to do it all the way around, you just need to do it along one edge as she's shown us. Here we've got the uh, label used on the pattern gingham paper. That seems to work really well. And look as we're using the dazzles, the little stitches are right there and they work so perfectly and isn't it great to know that those are dazzle stickers and you're not even stitching them. Here we've got the little flower that we backed with paper. Going over into our title, you're so sweet, all of that is from the dazzles, how very fun. Abigail at age four was as cute as a button, as I'm sure she was. Now the companion page is using the same paper, using taking advantage of that same treatment, although doing it along two sides of their photograph. 
and then letting it come down onto this one and slipping the journaling on the other side. The sewing machine is a great accent to our journaling block. And isn't this sweet, what a sweet photograph to begin with, but isn't this sweet how she's kind of nested into the background paper? It looks just charming. You know, that's not all. We've got a beautiful, beautiful card. Now on the paper toll, you get three designs per sheet. We used two of them on one of the paper layout, page layouts. Now we're going to do a card, and isn't this stunning? It's just beautiful. I love bringing in that burlap paper too. That creates a nice texture, a texture looking. And then on the inside, again, using some of the extra butterflies as though that isn't enough, we've got an option. So you can't do both of them, but here's an option for you. And this is a six by six Sarah Surface album. They come plain. So in this case, Susan has inked them. She's added one of the paper told uh, pieces and then also added some of the layered labels. And again, some that fringe at the top and choosing here to use the key here instead of on the album page. Now let's get into some of the so sweet more ideas. Here's an absolutely charming card and I love how these papers play together. Very fun to have this little banner going between the two spools. Don't you think that's charming? It's great to get the papers. I think it's even better to get the ideas. And look at that collage going on on the front. You can uh, change the color of the buttons, certainly with either inks or acrylic paints or maybe even chalks. That's cute to have the needle going into the rickrack. And then on the inside, hope you're having a great day. Let's see some more ideas of using this combination of products. Now, first we'll see this one where we've got the layered label and then look at the pen work that's been done around that. So pretty. And what's nice about something like this is you don't have to be careful because it's easy to do. And if you make a mistake, it just looks perfect. The mannequin, just a little bit of paper behind it. And these are the little pieces from that lace that also have been colored with either an ink pad or even acrylic paint you could use. Your sweet works very well. Here's a really, speaking of sweet, here's a really sweet, could be a title page, it could be the front of a card, whatever you like, but with M and memories done with computer journaling, but look how the dazzles just add around that uh, treatment right there. Speaking of which, here is another look, more coloring, this time with an ink pad of those um, uh, doilies or, and lace. Doesn't that look great? And cutting a photograph out in the shape of one of the layered labels, and I love the idea of stacking them. Doesn't that look beautiful? You know, a contemporary photo would be just as lovely as an older one. And here we have another idea for the paper toll, which is to cut out the center and put a photograph under there and then add a little tag, just, you know, talking about who's in there. Well, I think this is an absolutely spectacular month for scrapbooking personal shopper.